All right, hello everyone. This is uh, Draft Mix, Aglet versus Smart. I'm John, so I'm commentating with Team OK. Hello. And um, we're doing draft stuff, so I need to figure out where the uh, Mix Kingdom went. There it is, OK. So the way this works is they get a particular set of, uh, oh, spec chat's still on. Um, a particular set of six cards that are fixed, and then they draft two additional call cards from cards from a pool, and then um, between zero and two. Hold on, that's not the right one. Never mind. Nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, sorry, <laughs> this is the right one. Okay, those are, those are the, the six that they are forced into the kingdom. The other cards that they have access to uh, that we'll draft from is Shepherd, Mandarin, Captain, Forge, King's Court, Candlestick Maker, Forger, Bridge, Moneylender, and Priest. <clears throat> and the, um, the uh, landscapes are Salt the Earth, Canal, City Gate, and Banish. All right, there we go. So, looking at the, the basic six cards here, we got Governor, we got Hunting Party, Squire. Um, we're probably playing something with Governors here, although there was some... Okay, well, S Smart decides to do uh, the thing where you pick Kings, Court, and Bridge. Yeah, that seems like a thing to do. And Governors, you could draw for that somewhat. Because if, you're mega, if you pick up the Governors to turn before you Mega Turn, the draw for the opponent does not matter. Uh, this is correct. Uh, I would also... Smart's going first, so I think the general strategy is for player one to make the board as weak as strong as possible, and then for player two to try to make the board as junky as possible, um, and certainly KC Bridge is about as strong as possible. Yeah. Some awfully good payload. Um, there's not really any strong attacks, or there's not much to slow down first player, so I'm not exactly sure what Aglet should be thinking about picking up here. I mean, I don't have access to the mix channel, so I can't exactly weigh in on that. Yeah, I can't, um, so the the main six get, like, texted, so I can just, like, copy-paste that, but the, but the rest of the cards don't, like, have text. So I can't actually like copy paste the rest of the cards in. Um, there's nothing. I mean, there's like more trashing. There's money lender and priest. Uh, and Aglet goes ahead and picks priest forager. So, yeah, if I was Aglet, I would not pick trashing. Um, try to keep the board more random. I think trashing makes the board less random. And certainly, first player has a huge advantage in hitting King's Court Bridge here. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I mean. There are two routes you can go with picking. You can either go for min-maxing it, or you can go for just making a strong board. And I guess Agla goes for the strong board. But that probably is not advisable with player two. I do agree with the jumps. Mm. Um, Smart opens Priest, which is perfectly good. I would probably open Priest here as well. The three is a little trickier. Could be City Gate, maybe? City Gate's definitely reasonable. Um, Forager is probably a little bit too slow. I think you do want to hit five pretty fast, so Forager's a bit slow on that front. Um, uh, here you could, I mean, even just like buying Bridge now is probably fine. Even like Banishing Necropolis is probably fine. Yeah, Banish, unfortunately, is weak here with, uh, Pelters, mm -hmm. but I the, don't. I don't think it'll see much play. Yeah, the city cade's also fine. Um, it helps make sure you hit five here, which is I think a price point you really want to hit. And hunting per parties, the first five makes sense to me. I mean, yeah. Um, the villain is just weakish. It's not going to do much. I mean, I guess it could help spike a price point by having the hunting hunting parties better. Um, and then governor, you want later. If at all. Yeah, I think. Um, in, in the short term, hunting party just draws a lot better than 
other options. Um, ooh, Early King's Court seems pretty solid for S Smart. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, like a couple hunting parties are definitely going to draw better than the, the first governor. I mean, governor always draws better, but it also draws for your opponent, so hunting party is probably the preferable early option, at least for a couple of them. Yeah. Um, priest be grown by bridge here. Well, we'll, we'll wait, um, wait for the city gate, see what happens. Yeah, I think buying bridge right now is as smart, makes a lot of sense. Uh, because yeah, you, because you likely have King's Court hunting party next turn, and you want to be able to, you know, uh, buy two things. I mean, even if not, you could also risk playing a hunting party, and you have a pretty good chance to. Dr well, I guess you have fifty-fifty to draw into bridge or priest with that. Um, is that smart out of other cards? I guess. I guess they are. Yeah. Uh, but or hunt, or yeah, the, the problem here is that this is just too much money and not enough uh, actions, right? So, like that, if that um, if that hunting party was a bridge, this turn looks a lot better. Yeah. Do you just banish five coppers here? I don't think so. I think you just take bridge. Um, yeah, that's probably right. You have good enough deck control with the hunting party skipping a lot of coppers. Yeah. Um, um so as smart does have a decision here. You could, um, uh, I would probably still King's Court the hunting party here, but you could just play hunting party and King's Court a bridge and not play priest. Uh, I think, I think that's what, I think that's what I want to do here. It's just a little un- up a lot of pieces. Um, Both are good options. And yeah. Seems fairly ahead here. I mean, mainly I want to get King's Court this turn for sure, right? Getting King's Court this turn yeah. is, the most, is the most important thing. Um, maybe just like King's Court Bridge, though, is pretty good this turn. Yes, that. Yeah, that looks pretty strong. And then next turn you pick up whatever <laughs> it is bridge hunting parties, and the turn after you just win. Uh, pretty much, yeah. So Aglet's in a lot of trouble here. This is a bad yeah. position. I mean, it's not deterministic for smart, but you'd need a pretty bad dud. Hmm. Which this could be. Um. And draws. Um. Could it? It's hard. It it's hard to dud too card. much. I mean, like if you're like if your top card's like a copper and then you draw King's Court or something, that's obviously pretty bad. But even then, it's not yeah. that bad. You can always buy a bridge and still win next turn, right? Because all you need is you already have the two King's Courts, and now you just need three bridges and that wins. That's yeah. So, like, you could just top deck Hunting Party and buy Bridge right now and look to win next turn. That, yeah, that looks pretty good, honestly. In this turn, you're going to play the two Hunting Parties. That should be enough to draw. Or, I guess, you have two or three. I've lost count. Um, I think it's two, two on the Hunting Parties. Okay. Then again, if, um, wait, what? Hold on. Well, wait, what just wait. happened? Um, Why didn't... Aglet elected not to trash the copper and silver. Why? Why wouldn't you crash not it? Like, why wouldn't you play King's Court? King's Court Bridge Priest. That seems like Unclear. incredibly good to me. Oh like, yeah. Like, like game winning good. It like you can win next turn if S Smart doesn't win this turn. And yes. that was very strange to me. Yeah. Hmm. Um. This is actually a really awkward spot here. Yeah. I think, um, does Aglet win he here? Has... Aglet wins here, right? How are we drawing enough? So Aglet, um, got, Aglet has three King's Courts, right? So it's King's Court, King's Court, Bridge, Hunting Party, Aglet's Bridge. Three King's Court. Yeah. Ah, so then that does win if Aglet sees it. Aglet's almost guaranteed to win this turn. It'd be easier to win if you didn't have a Copper and Silver in your deck, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> And then S Smart would win next turn if he get another turn, but it looks like they won't. Yeah. All right. This, well, this is King's Court. King's Court hunting party for S Smart. Um, you have three bridges already, One. so yeah, Casey, Casey hunting party seems fine. Could also be Governor. Um, yeah, Governor's also fine. Governor draws a little bit better at this point. Yeah, I don't love the Squire. You want to just make sure you find all the stuff in Squire. Mm -hmm. And also, it's another unique for hunting parties. Oh, I don't like playing. I want to play bridge first there. So King's Court, King's Court, bridge, then hunting party. Wait, why aren't you playing the King's Court yeah. on the? Okay, that's just fine too. It this all it all wins. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's KC Bridge. I guess one bad turn from uh, S Smart was enough to lose on that board. 
Yeah. All right. So the um, the main kingdom is as follows: Caravan, Changeling, Colony, Platinum, uh, Counting House, Engineer, Knights, and Minion. Who's um? This makes me very hopeful for traveling fair in the draft. There is no traveling fair in the draft. So the draft has mission, road network, advance, and baths. And the draft pool, ooh, that's exciting. Uh, we have an island, we have a magpie, we have a sacred grove, we have a sculptor, we have a possession, scrying pool, acting troop, catapult, leprechaun, and herald. So let's see if anyone ups for possession here. I didn't realize I didn't realize possession was in the uh, the draft the draft mix kingdoms. I mean, why wouldn't it be? It's something you can draft in. I guess if everyone hates it, then they don't draft it. Oh, is it all the? I thought it was curated. Is it not curated? It is not curated. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah. Let's do. Oh um, man, this board is going to be so great. If I'm player two, I'm picking like possession knights, possession and like uh, catapult. Oh, that this is this is going to be <laughs> either going to be chaos. This board is so um, ugly. Island is, I mean, I don't think you ever pick up an island here, if it, assuming it gets in even. But if it does, you can do you can set aside the other players' possessions or good cards. Um, let's see. All right, Aglet chooses this. Scrying Pool, Sacred Grove, and Advance. Fortunately, you cannot advance into possession. Yeah. Or unfortunately, depending on what side of it you're on. Oh, I suppose that's true. That would be something, though. Um, come on, S-Smart. Do possession. You know you want to. Um, I also want someone to make a troop. So there's a village here. Possession troop, let's go. Just because you gotta burn those villagers before you get possessed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I even forgot about that interaction, but that would be chaotic. Yeah. Let's go maximum chaos. I'm on team chaos right now. Yes. That first game was too quick and easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harold Catapult. Boo. Wait, how does mission possession work? How's what work? Mission possession. The um, player just turn with no buys, right? Um, e hmm. What's the order on that? Oh, that's... You buy mission on their possessed turn? Yeah. You can't take a mission if you're just possessed. So, like, if you possess somebody and bought mission, they just don't get a turn? Or... Or, no, I guess the, it just does nothing, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, looking at the kingdom we did end up with here, uh, Catapult seems like a pretty clear open. Just a very yes. very debilitating attack. Um, even double Catapult's probably fine with advance. <laughs> like, if they collide, you can advance it. Yes. Yeah. Um, no possession is sad. Uh, another option um, is, like, Engineer. Yeah, I, I don't know. Engin yeah, I guess Engineer you can use to pick up caravans and heralds, and which will help you get other terminals and play down the line. I don't know if the... I don't think the potion open is good. I think I want to delay potion. Yeah, I'm... Because if you... Oh, go ahead. No, because then you have that thing where you draw catapult with potion, and then you get attacked, and you have to choose. Yes, that's all I said. I think double catapult is how I, how I would open here. It's not something oh. I would have considered, but it does look good. I think... And I'm happy to advance on collision. It's not a huge deal. Yeah. Um, into, like, a minion or something. Engineer? Yeah, that's all right. That's also good. The engineer opens fine. I think I want engineer, but I don't know if... It's a little harder to work with on open, but it's probably also fine. It's just sad if it collides, basically. Yeah. Um... um. And the question becomes, do we trash Engineer here or not? I don't want to trash it. Uh, um, 
Well, you could trash engineer and then pick another one up, but I want to stick with one engineer in my deck for now. Yeah, so if you trash and pick one up, it's sort of like just buying a four cost right now um, with some debt. Yeah. Which could have been worse. So I mean, that's fine as well. I don't know. How, I think I would have rather had a caravan than a silver there, but it could go either way. Um, I don't think silver is a thing I want in this deck, like, ever, so... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Cavill Copper is usually the thing you do anyway, just because the attack is often pretty oppressive. Um... You're... But the buying... Like, I, would, it. I wouldn't buy silver, though. Silver's just not a thing this board really wants. Yeah, you want the action payload here with the Spool and Herald. Uh, I guess minions are fine, though. Yeah. There's also always interesting decisions on when to... Ooh, damn Anna. Look at that. Um, interesting decisions on when to start trashing estates over copper. Yeah. Not here. No, not there. It's a bit sad hand for S Smart, because now, like you said before, you have to decide between trashing and um, getting a scrying pool. Yeah. Or right. just getting Dame. I guess Dame Mano is good, because okay. then you don't have to use your catapult to trash estates. Mm -hmm. So this looks like just trash estate by scrying pool to me. No? That's really weird to me, actually. Like. What are you doing yeah, with the... Uh... Huh. I mean, if you're advancing catapults, maybe that's reasoning, although I still... I mean, I guess, but, like, the purpose of having a potion is to buy scrying pools, right? Yeah. I mean, I'd rather have a scrying pool and trash an estate than have a herald and Sir Michael and trash a catapult. I mean, yeah, I, I think this... Because the nice thing about scrying pools is they are immune to night attacks. You can't actually... Yeah, so just filling your deck with them is yeah. not too bad. Well, I guess it's never too bad. It's actually quite good, but it's even boosted here. Mm -hmm. All right, loses a silver, which is not a big deal. Yeah, we lost two things on scrying pool things. I just realized. Um. Although I don't know how much of an effect that's gonna have here. Yeah, I might. Mm, I might discard here. Hmm, not discarding, discarding is also fine. Oh wow, rocks gets uncovered. You don't often see that in two player. Yeah, um, because usually like, usually like two catapults is fine. But if you're advancing them, then it makes sense to buy some more. Uh, yeah. Minion is okay here. Uh, like, it's a, it's a non-terminal action, and Scrying Pool just likes non-terminal actions in general. But there are limits to, like, how much you can really do with the minions, as opposed to, like, more heralds or something. Yeah. I don't think we've reached that limit yet. It's more of an opportunity cost, but that's not, like, but there is an no opportunity cost for mm -hmm. a five and a buy. Um... The, the problem with Sacred Grove, it's, it's terminal, and it's a little hard to play those until you have a decent chunk of Heralds in your deck. Yeah. Um, I mean, but you want to be at Engineering for the Heralds. Yeah. And then finding the minions. But the problem with Engineer is it's also right. terminal, right? Like, everything's terminal, so yeah. it's really awkward to get things together in the short term here. But, like, you could like, take... Uh, yeah, yeah you could trash your engineer into two heralds. Could also do. I don't know how much I like the Sir Michael instead. I think yeah, Michael seemed like the least useful of those three terminals at that turn. Yeah, and catapult does the attack also, and it trashes the copper, and then engineer gets you the villages that you so badly need. Mm. Yeah, I kind of just wanted a bunch of heralds there. Uh, Aglet is, is struggling to play these terminals, so more heralds seems pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
J nails with the hot take there. <laughs> yeah, they should have had possession. <clears throat> what could have been? What could have been? Yeah, um, <clears throat> Harold's still at eight. Ah, sorry, I keep sniffling. It's not free. Um, anyways, Harold's, you can probably take a lot more of them now. Yeah. If not can, should. Well, we have a drawn deck here. Um, I will play Dame Anna here, I think, very easily, killing two estates. <clears throat> Seems pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. And also, Aglet's minion. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I guess you want to play. You want to be playing your heralds first, and I don't know if it's worth keeping a few treasures in the deck. Maybe it is. Uh, just to stop the pool. Mm -hmm. Oh look, there we have village finally activated. All right. And here Take I want two heralds. Two heralds seems good. Yeah. We can trash engineer now. It's perfectly fine. I might take um. Grove, yeah, Grove there is fine. Sylvia was also another option. Um, yeah, I mean, cause you do get to target trash some stuff with the scrying pool attack, right? Oh yeah, that's true. You do. Um, I think I want to wait on Sil. I want to wait on. Actually, no, you're short one night, so I want to. I want to get that Anna. I guess it's you no. Know, never mind. It is kind of too late to trash Anna and have that crashing be lost. You've already trashed mostly what you want to with Anna. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, Aglet is the one with heralds, so Aglet is the one who can play more than one terminal a turn, which seems pretty helpful, also. Yeah. Um. I would play this Sacred Grove earlier in the shuffle. Like playing it now, it's fine too. Yeah. I'm not sure that I, mean, I want to play trashing the silver is better than trashing a state there. Are we just not okay, fine. I was thinking we were gonna discard that minion and keep playing on, but I suppose we don't have I guess there's a scrying pool there, so sure. Yeah, that makes sense not to. But like I really wanted to buy a scrying pool this turn, <clears throat> and you can't do that without discarding. Yeah. Oh, that's a sad draw. Oh, wait, there wasn't anything in there. Wait, hold on. I thought there was a scrying pool so wait, cards. Then it seems very worth discarding. Yeah, 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 I was like, if those were your five cards there, like, discarding there was 100% required. Like, you can't leave those cards there for you. Yeah. Um, Damon gets yeah. a trash of Herald. Yeah, this is completely Aglet's fault for having this dud. Um, yeah, it's just poor deck tracking. I thought there was like a scrying pool in there or something like that you were top decking, but nope. <laughs> Buying rocks. I there. guess we're doing rocks. All right, rocks it is. I mean, the sad thing with rocks is it top decks the silver, but um, alternatively, rocks is just oh, can you not uh? It does top deck top deck it? Yeah, yeah. Then again, if you expect to get minion attacked, then top decking silver is not so bad. That's true. Um. Anyway. Uh. As Smart's position looks to be pretty good here, largely owing to having more draw on a cleaner deck, and not just dudding a full turn. Yes. I want, I mean, as S Smart, it would be very nice if I could get Dame Molly at some point. Yeah, I actually should have bought an Engineer that dud turn also. You have enough Heralds, you expect to at least be able to play them. Yeah. And then... Yeah, just engineer looks. Engineer would take two. More decades. rocks. Alright, what are we changing into? Harold, I guess? Yeah, Harold seems fine. Yeah. An estimate looks in very nice position. Uh, yeah. Although. Yeah. Actually, no, although. You can't really reliably play. Um, you can't. You, I guess you could try to play. And on catapult some turns, so you could have kept it around. That would have been good as well, but it shouldn't matter too much. Mm. 
Yeah, Esmer can also try to target the Sacred Grove too. Be pretty good, <coughs> pretty good thing to trash. Yeah. <coughs> Wisp is a good card with scrying pools around. It's, oh, Esmark is going to benefit a lot from having Dame Molly. So piles are very, very low right now. We gotta be pretty careful. Yeah. I mean, there's no engineers out, so it's not such a... It's not very, very low, but it's something to be aware of. And that, if you pick up an engineer or two, that, those can now attack. Mm -hmm. That was weird to play Scrying Pool there. Like, you're supposed to play Anna first. Oh, I guess you want to trash the curse. No, that makes sense. Sorry, never mind. Looking for the curse. Wait, why are we playing Scrying Pool? Like, you can play your Scrying Pool there to, to like, spy one more card. No, no, a little weird not to play Scrying Pool there. Well, how, wait, how is playing Scrying Pool buying one more card? Oh, no, I, I, guess... I said I said Scrying one more card. Ah, uh, yes. So you just discarded the Herald with it, Damana, so you might as well Scrying Pool and see what's on top there. Yeah, that's true. Um... Is Sir Martin any good here? No, I don't think so. You can use Girl for buys, and there's not really much need for this. Um, I think it's good only in the fact that it's a knight. Yeah. Um, that's true, it can be gained by engineer. Alas, yeah, you... no one has engineer. Yeah. Trash the rocks, do it. Yes. <laughs> It's, what's the text on the rocks? Um, Guinness silver. Oh, so the, the silver does go into your hand. Yeah. Oh, and the Earth's gift comes in big. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Put the silver in my hand and then uh, Earth's gift. Uh, do you gain Sir Martin? Sure. I guess so. Um, Aglet has no potion, right? No, they, yeah, Aglet neither of them have potion. Yeah, okay. Sure. I mean, I guess Changeling can still gain Scrying Pool. This game is, uh, like, very close to over. Why are we advancing the Wisp? Why? Um. Just buy Destry yourself. I mean, unless you're taking a province here. I guess Taking that's province fine. isn't unreasonable given the uh, the state of these decks right now and how low the piles are. Yeah, I, I like having wisp. It's I, I'm like Vincy, It's not too bad though. Uh, it's not clear that Destry is better than wisp. Actually, yeah. Maybe it is. Yeah, I mean. All right. It let's... could be if only for the purpose of taking out. One of the, oh, there's a grove. That's, the that that's grove. That grove is a really good hit. Uh, I guess you trash minion yeah. though instead oh, of grove. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have, you have to trash minion. Um, spy some more. Kill a herald. Sure, it seems good. Spy some more. Actually, uh, these knights are putting in work for. Uh, discard. Discard. What is this? Oh, it's only six coins. I wonder if you need like a grove. Maybe a smart needs a grove themselves. Could be. Could also be engineer. <sighs> engineer doesn't gain economy that efficient. Well, I guess it gains rocks though, and rocks are pretty good. Yeah, and then the silvers do go to hand during your action phase. I'm still pretty nervous about piles if I'm S smart because you're down nine points right now, and piles are quite low. Um, that works. Gold wisp is fine, I think actually. Yeah, it looks all right. Anna, is it time to kill Anna? Leave it on top so you can kill it with Destry. Yeah. Bye, Anna. You served a smart well. Yes. That you have. Um, gold is probably worse than engineer. Yeah, engineer lets you do quite a few things that are helpful. Mostly gives you like insane pile control right here, with uh, rocks changeling being so low. 
Actually, Adler could definitely pick up an engineer right now. Uh, would be pretty good, actually. Oh yeah, that does seem very, very. Because Agla can aim to just win next turn, basically. Yeah, I mean the rocks, gaining uh, rocks, gaining one rocks gains two changelings if you want it to. Um, gaining one rocks gains four chain, or yeah, one rocks is four two changelings. So you can gain two rocks and two changelings, and then buy rocks for changeling, right? So like engineer plus one buy drains all of the rocks and changelings if you want. Yes. Um, was there a win there? Oh, was there? So you play Grove. I don't see a win. Um, what would it require? Because you need to get three rocks, right? So you need one more gain. Unless you get like Earth Gift, but Earth Gift's already gone. Oh, uh, I guess Forest yeah. Gift might have worked too. No, Forest is also gone. I think Forest is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Trash is a Herald. So wait, what did Aglet buy? Sacred Grove? I don't know about that. I, I bought a grove. Yeah. And also the scrying pool. Ah, so pool and pool is also very low. Um and you can just pick up the change link for yes, that. Yeah, yeah. But you again, you wanted the engineer. Yeah, I think um Aglet could have bought like province engineer last turn and almost guaranteed a win this turn, basically. Yeah. Smart is sadly one short of colony here. Would have been nice to have mm -hmm. the points lead. Uh, Prov Engineer right now is definitely pretty good. Yeah, the Engineer is just like, I get to end the game when I want to. Uh, Platinum doesn't quite do yeah. it. Platinum, I guess you're aiming to colony next turn, is that smart? Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess it's defensible, but I don't like it so much. All right, Harold has the Grove for field. Ooh, field skip is really good, actually. Oh, yes. The terminal issues. It's very helpful. Um. Yeah. Like right now, this hand with an engineer just wins, right? But, uh. Yes. I think. All right. I guess we just. Well, we can spy one card here with the with the scrying pool. And then. I mean, if I was Agla, I'd probably just trash the state and buy Province Engineer. Yeah, that looks good. You can also get by not trashing the state. Oh, we're advancing it? Seems... Um, sh sure? No, because you want the Province. Or, not the Province, the Engineer. Yeah, they're not playing to end this game. And, like, there's a very easy way to end this game. Yeah, maybe they don't see that. Changeling, um, engineer, rock stuff. Um, yeah, that would be the most reasonable explanation. Alright, I guess we're trashing this minion. No, we're discarding? What are we searching for? Herald? Because we're, we're hunting for something to kill. As that's smart. Mm, killing Herald is fine. Um, Sun's you gift? Don't even need to, you don't even need to see the changeling, or the rock stuff to win. You can just engineer for... Oh, no, never mind. You uh, could, I mean, if you engineer for two changelings and draw them up, those can gain you those can gain you a changeling mm -hmm. pool, and that just wins. Yeah. That was a really weird discard from Aglet there. Like, I would have kept all that stuff and just left it stayed on top of my deck. Yeah. I mean, at least the minion you want on top of your deck. Or, um, well, I guess these, you're anticipating the, a knight that they don't have. Well, no, they have a scrying pool still, right? So you leave a state on top of your deck so they don't toss like all your good stuff. So then uh, you can yeah. toss the estate yourself and then draw the rest of your action cards. Yes. Alright. Um, Aglet's in pretty bad shape now, I think. Oh, yeah. The engineer for S-Smart. S-Smart okay. can win this turn. Yes. You can just do changeling stuff and buy a colony. Um, uh, province is enough, actually. Oh, yeah. It is. Now I go take the engineer, but it could be too late. You might need. Um, I don't think you'd be that precise, right? Like you just engineer right now for for some changelings, and then you draw them all, right? Yeah. No, play engineer. Stop drawing. Stop drawing. Play no, engineer. No, quick engineer. <laughs> it does not need that much precision at all. Just play engineer. Gain 
like three changes. Three, three, you can three change things off them. I mean, you, you could do two. You could do you could do two. You don't even need the rocks to it. And all well, you don't have to, but like you know, makes it cleaner. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Just gain all the changelings. Yeah. Draw all the changelings. Yeah. Then change why the last scrying you... pool. And then you win the game. Why? Why are you taking so long to play the engine? The rocks gain silver. Turn that into a changeling. Into a changeling. Um, just take two changelings, draw them both with heralds, and you win. Yes. <laughs> well, winning fancy is better than winning, but I feel like yeah. gaining rocks to turn them into changelings is pretty fancy. Yeah, I do agree. I mean, what's the point of winning if you don't have some style, you know? Um, yeah. Could be right, Halo Ranty. Nope, oh, we're just, no. um, we're just stopping there? Alright. Sure. This doesn't even win. Are you just trashing the rocks here as well? Might as well. I don't see any reason not to. Yeah. Silver's better than rocks. Silver does go to hand, right? Yeah, it does go to hand, because it's action phase. I don't know. Oh. I All right. Actually, could have. Actually, could have won that turn. Um. Maybe. Uh, if. With, uh, no, I you're right. I think. Had the, he had the economy. It's a little hard, but maybe. Yeah. It is a weird time to resign. I think. Yeah. Uh, there was a win, but not at the stage you. Uh, yeah, you, you got, got to. too far. Because I oh, never see rocks. Easy. When's the last time you saw yeah, rocks you... in the game? <laughs> exactly. There was not still a win. Um. <laughs> yeah, JC and JC something. Okay, yeah, black market's probably the most reasonable time to ever see a rocks. Yeah, and then it's after that, maybe just three or four player, and after that, big bam. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at. Um, hold on, where'd it go? There you are. So we have. Here's our main. Six. Um, the other cars black we have. Market. We did black market. We could see rocks again. Yay. Uh, pirate ship, capital, minion, patrol, wayfarer, lurker, pawn, raise, secret cave, duplicate, march, lost arts, wall, and toil. Um, I want wall. Let's see some wall. Oh, I don't like wall. I love wall. I have a band. Walls, walls, it... walls, so good. Such a good card. Makes me sad. The points go too low. Uh, nah, wall's so good. Love wall games. Wall doesn't ruin BM. Wall just makes you more selective about BM. Yeah, but I don't want to be more selective about Black Market. It's fun to just take everything. Um, fine. Black Market Museum, Never Kingdom. At Wolf least it is not Wolf Den. Wolf Den doesn't ruin Black Market anyway. Like, so what? It's minus three I'm points. Big deal. <laughs> but... I don't know. I mean, Black Market Wolf Den will be nice once there's the new donate, and it's also in Kingdom. Um, it's like it's people think like don't like Wolf Den means you skip Black Market, which is completely incorrect. Like you still take Black Market on on, on Wolf Den boards. <laughs> All right. So S Smart chooses Lost Arts, Wayfarer, Toil, and Pawn. Aglet chooses Patrol and Raise. No one picks Secret Cave, so there's no wishes this game. Um, but we have Lost Arts. We have Wayfair. So we have all the draw we need. We have Black Market. So, um, yep. Let's just bid, build uh, really big Black Market stuff. Yes. This is one of those nice Black Market boards where everything else is already there. So anything you get out of the Black Market is just, like, a nice bonus. You're not, you're not like, fishing for villages and or fishing for trashing. Um, this one is just, yeah, I mean, hey. You're still somewhat fishing. I get, no, never mind, there's Lost Arts, you don't need fishing. Yeah, Lost Arts, just... you got Squire, you got Raise for some trashing, you got Develop for trashing. You can have to Toil for actions as well. You have Wayfarer for draw, Patrol for draw. Um, Grave Robber for extra green, right? There's like a, this like, this is a full engine without Black Market on it. Um, so Black yes. Market stuff is just like bonuses, basically. Toil plays treasures? How does Toil play treasures? 
Oh, you're saying if you, if, you, if you toil black market, then you can then you can play those oh. treasures even after you've bought things. Yes. Nice. Um, the open I want here, I think, is black market raise. Um, squire well, what raise. What squire raise do? Well, squire is nice for getting more raises, so there's that. Oh, um, and wayfarers, yeah. You. Wayfair stuff, but... So you get to raise an overrun estate, which is fine. Squire gain silver by wayfarers is perfectly reasonable right now. Um, must have made him somewhat overwhelmed by this board, but yeah, what like you said seems nice. Um, I get, what's this now? Copper wayfarer wayfarer? Well, um, copper wayfarer wayfarer, is that better than silver wayfarer? It's a little awkward to have this many terminals in your deck at this point, but maybe it's fine. Well, I mean, with toil, it's all right. That's true. You have toil. Oh, plus you have Black Market to play the treasures. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. I like it. Who has Black Market, by the way? Um, no, Aglet does, so oh, I'm smart. Well, can't do that yet. Ignore me. Pillage? No, don't don't take Pillages. Pillage is bad. Pillage is a bad card. How do you hit six? I mean, you just you just I mean, hit, you hit six. six by drawing. This is probably six for Smart. Uh, yeah, the way you hit six is by having Squire and Wayfair in your, in your top of your shuffle. Raise, um, raise the rate. No. Um, I guess no, just do nothing. Just yeah, just, just don't play it. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, easy, easy lost arts. S smart for some reason has this pillage, which is terrible, but whatever, it's fine. I mean, it makes Wayfarer cost zero. You know what? That's a good point. I guess it does gain you a Wayfarer. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but, it's like, nothing else. if his pillage was, like, Squire, that's two Wayfarers instead of just one. Yes. Um, Grave Robber Pillage is, like, a, a real thing, though. Yeah. But you want to draw first. Yeah, I mean, you're well on your way with this smart. Mm -hmm. Or as S smart. Um, I do want to Black Market pretty soon as S smart as well, just because Black Market's a good card. Yeah. I mean, you could take one this turn. You're going to obviously play Squire for buys, and then you can do Black Market Wayfair Wayfair. Um. Yeah, but... That's probably if, if you if you could square it could yeah it could um it's borderline resignable yeah I mean you're yeah Aglet's in a very bad very very bad position right now um yeah um I would just try not to gain silver too much at all as uh, like I would not be gaining silver here as as smart like these silver seem pretty bad actually yeah. um. Like, I just, I really don't want those silvers. Also, spend your spoils. Like, spoils is, is not a card you want in your deck. It's, it's junky. Uh, yeah, you just want to be drawing the Wayfarer and Black Market. Um, do we want uh, three Wayfarers? Do we want, like, Black Market two Wayfarers? Or, like, Squire two Wayfarers? I don't know, there's options. I, yeah. Um, yeah, you could just be waiting in the Black Market now. Um, I think you want two wayfarers for sure, and then, okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. This game was all the hill for. All right, S smart wins that one. All right. Um. Next up, we have. Here's our main six. We're adding in. Um. Horse Traders, Money Lender, Ranger, I can't type this fast, Ranger, Cardo, Slosh, Lurker, Fortune Teller, Night Watchman, Scheme, Dismantle. See, like, by the time I typed that up, Hispix, I had already typed up all the things, so, you know. <laughs> So how are we gonna pop land here? Mm. Scheme seems nice for it. If I'm Cart yeah, there's just... a lot of options. Is, there, is it no? It, is it worth taking cartographer as your first five? No, upgrade. Oh yeah, that's true. Upgrade. Um, I mean you can probably hit. Five. I mean you can hit like a lot of uniques here, right? So like money lender, upgrade, scheme, artisan, like hitting. Hitting 60 weeks here is pretty pretty simple. Um, 
Fairy Artisan, if you have a 3-4, Fairy Artisan is, is definitely pretty solid. Um, oh, yeah. If you don't have a 3-4, though, it's a lot more sad. So Aglet chooses car Cartographer, Dismantle, and Ride. Did Esmeralda need a BM? No, not really. Um, it's just, it's, fine. it's just you know, there's always things you can pull out of there that are really helpful. Yeah, but why, why double province when you can do more than when you can do more than double province? That's not that wasn't a, that was not a double province kind of board. That was that was more than double province. Uh, I'm not sure about that exactly. I mean, you don't need to risk that die. Aglet's just turns upon turns behind. All right, Smart chooses Scheme, Lurker, Stampede, and Fairy. I mean, that previous board was a kind of board where you just use build. Like, there's no, there's not like a, there's not like a, like, I mean, maybe when you're doing like triple or quad province, you can start provincing, but like, there's no need to double province in that board. Yeah, I mean, if you want to stick with the one squire, then I guess you're doing triple. Okay, once you have 10 wayfarers, then you can start provincing, sure. Now looking at the board. Your uniques are going to be Copper, Silver, Lamp, Upgrade, Steam, Artisan, Cave, something. It's trivial, yeah. Um, so does anyone get the 3-4? If someone has a 3-4, Open Artisan seems pretty clear. Alright, as, as, as Agla, I think I Open Artisan. That seems really good to oh, me. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as S-Smart, it's a little trickier. Mm, we didn't go with Moneylender, did we? Nope. Are we ferrying upgrade? Is that smart? Are we just ferrying artists and taking um, yeah. secret cave? Cardinal was a was a forced card. Um I mean S could open like upgrade. It's an okay open. Uh I guess if Esmar sees Aglet do the fairy on Artisan, Esmar could take a Cardinal, just like to hope to spike to snipe the Artisan. Could be. Um. Um. If I just place Duchy. Yeah. I don't understand what you mean by that. Oh, to switch places with. Oh. And Esmar does take the Cardinal. So the, um, yeah, like as player two with the with the bad opening split, I think trying to spike Artisan is like a reasonable, or, or trying to like snipe the Artisan with the Cardinal is like a reasonable play, I think. It probably won't work, but you know, you're in a bad spot anyway. I mean, what's your terminal until then? Um, yeah, there's not great terminals other than that. All right, there's an Artisan there for Esmar. I would need an upgrade so, here, I think. Upgrade seems yeah, pretty good. Things. Yeah, and there's nice targets for the states as well here. I wonder if you ferry something new right now. Like, you could ferry Cartographer or ferry Upgrade or something. That way your estates turn into upgrades. Yeah. Um, um, I can't no, I don't have ferrying Cartographer here. It seems like a card that would be nice to have a lot of here, because there's no... I mean, Ride's the only draw, and you can't really reliably take it. Yeah, the draw here isn't isn't all that exciting. Nice stampede, also. Mm, yeah, the problem with rides is they don't help activate your magic lamp very well. Yeah, so I think just fairing cartographer would be nice. I don't like upgrading into silver. I'd rather do it into like scheme or cave mm -hmm. just to get the lamp popped quicker. Yeah, Agla is not playing to pop lamp right now. I mean, lamp seems like a priority on most lamp boards. This is not an exception. Yeah, I was just not taking, like, unique cards and taking a bunch of rides, which aren't necessarily helping all that much. Stampede yeah. now seems pretty good, though. Um, well, Christine's all right. Stampede's guaranteed to pop horse, isn't it? Or, like, close to guaranteed um, to pop horse. Pop lamp? Um, that one, yes, lamp. 
Upgrade artisan Hopping copper, course. silver, secret cave, copper. Yeah, or, uh, I said copper once. Uh, and then lamp. Yeah, that's very, very likely yes. to pop if you stampede. Yeah, I mean, now you take a scheme, so that's all right. Top deck and cartographer's all right. Um, yeah, stampede is guaranteed to pop five courses if you so choose. All right, this is a... with the wishes, though. Just new cartographers, golds. Um, yeah, anything's fine. This is a pop here for S Smart. Um, like there's no villages, right. so hitting golds off them is fine. Yeah. I mean, there's just gonna sing golds soon after you pop lamp. Yeah, like you pop lamp, you start provincing. That's basically it. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. All right, this looks like it pops, right? Yeah, it does. Cartographer, cave, upgrade, silver, copper lamp. Yeah. Yep, just make sure you are make sure you draw upgrade and then draw silver right now. And not cartographer. And not cartographer. Yeah. As Esmart, I think you keep one estate around just to... Yeah, we're at the state of the game where keeping a state is a uh, reasonable thing to do. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to keep the second one, though. But the first one is nice. Alright. It's like another Cardo seems fine. Artisan for Duchies could be. I uh, can upgrade the that one there. I mean you wanna be Oh um yeah, you wanna just make sure you can sing you can reliably or semi reliably single province first. Um it's not Duchy time yet. But I guess with enough schemes, you can probably pretty reliably find your artisan. Yeah. And, uh, hmm. I think I want all of my wishes to be for gold here. I guess situationally one could be a duchy, but gold seem better. Um, I kind of just want to start provincing real soon, so however many golds it takes to province. Yeah. for gold and then topic cartographer buy gold here all right do we have a gold buy this what the second game we've had a gold buy mm-hmm why not touchy the game is not that close to over there's still eight provinces in the pile I mean I don't I don't, I don't like top decking a scheme Top deck sim for him, but I want to. I just want to be top deck in order to see every turn I can. Um, like three golds in a province right now is perfectly fine. I mean, you can take duchy, but like, not now. I don't see any reason to take a duchy yeah. now. I mean, you may if you're gonna wind up taking a duchy with the with instead of having four golds, have three golds in the duchy. You may as well just wish for it later, situationally, yeah. which I don't think you'll do either. Like I guess here you could wish for a duchy. I don't know if it's worth it though. Um, I don't think it is. It could be fine. We're. The, the provinces are going to go pretty fast. Like, people will be hitting province pretty regularly, so wishing for duchy now is fine. As long as, you're, as long as you're taking a province. The province is the most important part, but other than that, yeah. um, other than that, you can go ahead and just make sure you're hitting province and, and then, then take some duchies. I don't. Lurker does not seem worth the opportunity. Cost is too high for taking one. Um, the problem with Lurker is it doesn't do anything on this board. Yeah, now it's also quite low. Uh, it's like, it's half a gain, so you have to spend two cards in your deck to gain one card, and what are you even gaining? Like, cartographers? Eh. <laughs> like, it's not a particularly exciting card. Yeah, the actions are not what you want to gain at this point in the game. I'm not 
sure I liked how Aglet played this turn. Like, I don't think you have to care. Like, with this many cartographers, you don't have to thin down that much. Like, Aglet could have just tossed the upgrades and tossed the coppers and not bothered trashing them. And, like, that could have been fine. Yeah. I assume we have to take two golds in a province now, though. Oh, yeah, you've got Because you can't fall behind the provinces. Yeah. Okay, we're... I'm doing something. Did you end actions? Maybe. maybe. That you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so we basically traded a duchy for trashing two copper, but like eh? <laughs> you have I mean, you have five cartographers, why do you need to trash as many coppers? Oh do you, if you had a, no, I would rather leave the gold on top there. I would much rather leave the gold on top than No, but you, now you have very little economy in your deck. You need that extra gold to prevent that case where you bottom deck gold and can't buy. Right, right. I guess you can upgrade upgrade into gold next turn. Well, that's not fourth gold. That's third gold. Oh no, never mind. It is fourth gold. You're right. Yeah, but do you like Cardo over Duchy? I'm not so sure I do. Well, that's not really a choice you're making here. It was it was a possibility though. Like you didn't have to because right this wish was spent for Cardo, but you could have spent the wish on on Duchy earlier, or just like not spent the yeah, wish. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I would feel really bad as Agla to not take province right now. So another cartographer. Like I don't know what what are these cartographers doing. Yeah, I mean, you, you need to make sure to stay caught up on provinces. If you want Cartographer, gain it with Artisan next turn if you really want to. Yeah, but you like, don't. We can just toss... I guess we're going to play Upgrade here? That seems fine. Uh, does this province... This province is, right? Yeah, provinces. Uh, just, I would gain a Silver and top deck a Copper and buy a province here. Yeah. That looks um, Halo Andy, that is not a hot take. Cartographer is just not that good at a card. I mean, here it's better than most boards. Um, Cardo at four would certainly gain more often. I don't know. Not taking Prob there seems really bad to me. Yes. Well, I mean, if Cartographer is if Cartographer costs four, it can be gained pretty offensively by a lot of gainers, and that's something that you would do. So I'm not the time. Yeah, I think Cardo at four would be a pretty decent opener on a lot of boards. Yeah. Um. Like a turn, like a turn three cartographer can do some wonders. So the upside there is pretty high. Yep. I don't like discarding the upgrade. I want to upgrade, upgrade to gold this turn for Aglet. I mean, yeah, Seer is is usually better at, for a lot of reasons than Cardo, but like not every card has to be like Seer levels of powerful. It's fine to have some, like, middling cards, like Cartographer. Well, I mean, Seer costing 4 would just be ridiculous. Well, yeah. Seer costing 4 would be ridiculous, of course. Yeah. But Seer costing 5 is still yeah. already... Seer costing 5 is already a very strong card. Yes. I mean, the amount of Fairy Seer games I played in No Terminal Nix showed me that. Fairy Seer or Canal Seer, Seer are both very, very strong. Anything that makes Seer cost enough that it draws itself. Here, you just wish. I mean, you top deck the gold. You top deck gold next. You leave yourself cartographer gold for next turn, and you just wish for gold and province. Um, I'm pretty tempted Wait. to just not spend this wish. Um, but I guess you have to if you want to hit province, don't you? Because this silver is not going to cut it. Actually, there's a way that you could have done it, right? If you had. Um, drawn gold off of the upgrade instead and trash the silver, then you could have done that instead, but it's fine. We're just, like, not gonna ever province? I don't know what's happening. Not provincing on this board seems... It's a single province board. Like, I don't understand why we're just not provincing. This is too much building. So we're taking a duchy instead... We're taking a duchy instead yeah. of a province? Alright, sure. That's, 
confusing. You can dash it with Artisan, you can dash it with the Wish, you don't need to dash it with your buff. Um, we should be finding, should be finding, like, Province Duchy here's Esmar, right? Oh, there's a nice, nice job of Cartographer there. Okay, yeah, so, like, we'll just, um, you can trash a copy here, actually. So this, can you, you can. Yeah. So you probably should. Yeah, yeah, so we'll just leave, leave exactly that order right there, so... So scheme draw. Sorry, no. The, the upgrade has to draw the the copper gold. So you need to draw the upgrade off of one of the schemes, the copper off the other one, and then gold can, or upgrade can draw the gold, and then you can artisan for a duchy. Yeah. That looks good. I mean, you don't even. You, I mean, artisan for duchy is good. You could also artisan. You don't need to artisan for scheme, but you could. But duchy seems better. I'm fine just artisan for duchy at this point. Um, but certainly trash copper by province artisan for something makes the most sense. Um, but we're not topping an extra gold at all, right? I don't. Well, they're, they're, I mean, if if you just draw the two golds off the off the schemes, then you could do it that way, which might be fine too. But um, I think just leaving just a single gold undrawn this turn is reasonable. Yeah. I mean, if you if you just use scheme scheme to draw gold gold, and then you artisan gain duchy top deck gold, like you're gonna upgrade the copper next turn instead of this turn, which is also fine. So yeah, like, this line's fine. Um, I think it's probably roughly the same. I mean, that smart looks... Yeah, yep, Magla just resigns. Alright. That's probably fair to resign there. A smart is pretty far ahead. Yeah, I mean, could be... It seemed a bit premature, but... Yeah, it's fair. All right, anyway, uh, that's that. So thank you all for joining. And uh, that was Draft Mix. And catch you next time. Thanks, see ya.